Hello and welcome to my second lesson in a series of lessons on matrices and transformations. In this particular lesson, I want to take you through the second objective, in which case students should be able to find a single matrix for successive transformations. We already did the first one. And so let's begin. Under the, that part, single matrix for successive transformations, we have a triangle ABC and the vertices are given 6, 5, 2, 1, 6, 1 respectively. The question is draw on the graph of the triangle ABC in its final image under the combined transformation PQ. Let's begin. Now we're given that P is 0, 1, 1, 0 and Q is 0, 1, negative 1, 0. Now I need to say that as we do the question, first of all we need to know that Q is performed first. Q is performed first. That is first of all subject the triangle under the transformation of the matrix Q Having gotten the image of that, that image is uh, then subjected to the second matrix P and, and that should be followed. And so this is what I'm saying. We have Q times the coordinates of the triangle ABC in this particular manner. That is the triangle, this is the matrix P, this sorry, the ma this is the matrix Q and this is the triangle ABC. And that gives us the coordinates of ABC under the transformation of Q, which is A prime, B prime, C prime. And the coordinates are the ones on the screen there. This is immediately followed by a pre-multiplication of P, that's the matrix P, with the image gotten in the first step, that is the coordinates A prime B prime C prime, and that gives us uh, the coordinates A double prime, B double prime, and C double prime, and there are those ones there. So strictly follow that order. First of all, do the pre-multiplication with Q. That image is pre-multiplied again with P. And if you plot the two triangles, sorry, the three triangles, we have uh, this diagram here. This was the original triangle, which was a 6, 5, that is A, 6, 5, B was a 2, 1, and C was 6, 1. That one was transformed under the transformation of Q to give us a triangle A prime B prime C prime, which is uh, A is negative 5, 6, B is negative 1, um, 2, and C was negative 1, 6, and, and that's clear. That again was transformed and uh, the transformation defined by the matrix P, 0, 1, 1, 0, and that gave us a triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, where A double prime was 6, negative 5, B is 2, negative 1, and C is uh, 6, negative 1. And therefore, that's what you're supposed to do. The order is very necessary. Um, as you continue, I want to say some few things here. The first thing. There is, a success, there is a matrix M which represents a successive transformation of PQ. And that matrix can be arrived at this way. We first of all multiply P times Q in that order. That is the order they were performed here. And we say that the matrix P times the matrix Q should give us a matrix M, where M is a single matrix for the successive transformation. And that is what this particular lesson is all about. M is a single matrix that represents the two matrices and they must be multiplied in that particular order. So I need to emphasize that. Now, we know that the matrix P is 0, 1, 1, 0 and Q is a matrix uh, 0, 1, negative 1, 0. If you multiply that, follow the matrices, the multiplication of matrices, um, the rules that I explained earlier, and you get the matrix M is this one here. What that means is, is that if you pre-multiply M with the triangle ABC, this is the matrix M, if we promote like that, M with the triangle ABC, you get the coordinates of A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. And that tells us that we have done the right thing earlier here. So a single matrix for the successive transformation represent, uh, representing PQ would be the matrix M, which is 0, 1, 1, 0. Let me add on to that and say the following. First of all, M is equal to the matrix PQ. I've just said that here, that uh, M is P times Q, it's strictly in that order. Um, I'm considering a case where, say, a student did the opposite. In other words, the student did uh, pre-multiply the triangle ABC with um, the matrix P, and then followed with Q. What w the student would have done there is maybe using another matrix, not M, and so I've called it the matrix N. That matrix N would be equal to Q times P. Please notice that this is Q times P, not P times Q. Now, the matrix Q times P, I have done that and I got it 
if you multiply q times p in that order you get the matrix n which is negative one zero zero negative one if we pre-multiply this with the original triangle the the figure would be different i think it will be a reflection on the y-axis which is none of what we have got here all right uh, because i can see that uh, the i think the x coordinates would all of them be negative and the y coordinates would would become i think uh, positive of this and therefore would be i think reflecting this on the y-axis and therefore basically uh, the the order qp would be different from the order pq and therefore that brings the end to my first remark there that is pq is strictly different from qp and this is true for all operations in the ma in, in matrices not like any other way, any other place in the mat mathematics you see in algebra p times q is the same as q times p but not in matrices the order is so important when you're doing matrices and also of course in successive transformations as i have indicated there at that point i want us to move on to the next example which uh, emphasizes this the same concepts in a different way so we're given a quadrilateral abcd with vertices given there we are told draw the image of the quadrilateral under con com combined transformations u e r where u is that one e is that one and r is as given there let's go to the solution um, we need to notice that first of all we'll do a transformation where a b c d is pre-multiplied by r that image will be pre-multiplied by e that image will be again pre-multiplied with u to get the final image that we're supposed to draw and so let's begin first of all we have r pre-multiplying a b c d and that gives us the coordinates of a prime b prime c prime d prime which is this one here and if we plot that on the Cartesian plane, it looks like like this here. A, B, C, D is the original quadrilateral we had. A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime is the one we have gotten after transforming it under the matrix R, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 1, negative 1, 0. Okay? Then we move ahead. Now we pre-multiply this with the second matrix. 0, uh, negative 3, 0, 0, negative 3, and this looks like um, an enlargement of scale factor negative 3 above the origin. So again, this matrix is that one, and this this particular quadrilateral we got in the first step is pre-multiplied. That gives us um, the second image, which is A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, D double prime, and if we plot that, it looks like this. It's an enlargement of this, which goes on the opposite side of the center of enlargement with a scale factor of negative 3, and therefore, a double prime is uh, three negative three three and b double prime is negative six twelve c double prime is uh, negative nine three and uh, d double prime is negative six six the next step would be we pre-multiply this second image a double prime b double prime c double prime with the third matrix u and that is as i have indicated there we pre-multiply the image with the last matrix and that gives us the third image which is a double a triple prime b triple prime c triple prime and d triple prime and if you plot that it looks like something like this i've tried to draw all of the um, objects the object and all the images on the same cartesian plane so that you can see the how successively uh, things changed so a triple prime with is a three negative three b triple prime is 12 negative six c triple prime is a three negative nine this one here and d triple prime is six negative six and therefore this image looks like um i think a reflection of the line y is equals to x of the second image that is a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime uh this was the object it was i think uh, taken through a positive a negative quarter turn to this one which was enlarged with a negative three scale factor to this point and again that one reflected along the, li the line y is equals to x to that point there uh, let me say some few comments as i wind up the lesson now we need to get a single matrix that represents all of these matrices r e and u so what would be that single matrix we are operating like i explained in the first lesson let the matrix m be a b c d 
and therefore we say a b c d pre multiplied with pre multiplying any coordinates of the quadrilateral should give us the corresponding image of the two coordinates which were given in the last image a double prime b double prime sorry a triple prime b triple prime c triple prime and d triple prime and therefore i've picked the points a b and the given quadrilateral and that should be equal to the coordinates of the image a triple prime b triple prime which were uh, three negative three and twelve negative six respectively so following the rules of multiplication of matrices we get um, this one m times a b will give us this kind of thing which is a two by two matrix this is the first element second element third element fourth element and that equals to what we have here three negative three twelve negative six and therefore we say that a plus b is three because of the position of the element of the two matrices you're saying that what is before the equal sign is same as after the equal sign so a plus b is three for a plus two b is twelve c plus d is negative three and four c plus two d is negative six having thus said we we go ahead to solve you can use uh, simultaneous the concept of simultaneous equations to solve and you get a is three b is zero c is zero d is negative three and therefore the matrix m a single matrix that represents the matrices u u e r which plots the triangle the collateral a b c d onto the collateral a triple prime b triple prime c triple prime d triple prime is a matrix m which equals two three zero zero negative three that means if you pre multiply this matrix with the coordinates a b c d you will straight away get to a triple prime b triple prime c triple prime d triple prime and that will save you the hassle of having to do the first one the second and obviously the last one the last remark i want to say is this that uh, m clearly is equals to u times the combined matrix er and that brings home another important point someone would want to bypass this process of arriving at the matrix m through letting m be a b c d and pre multiplying with any of the coordinates and on and on you can get that sim you can get the matrix m simply by first of all getting e times r and that result is pre multiplied by u so we have er gives them giving us a particular answer which is a two by two matrix then two by that two by two by two matrix which is a single matrix is multiplied by u in the order they are appearing here that will give us a matrix r m sorry what about if the matrices were so many the same process would be followed would first of all if we had uh, say u e r v x we would first of all multiply v and x to get a single matrix that single matrix is multiplied by r that single matrix now that's arrived secondly there will be multiplied by e that thirdly arrived at single matrix is multiplied by u and that is represented by these brackets i put here we have the same thing but put in simple mat in brackets to explain the point vx is multiplied to get a single matrix so now we multiply r with that single matrix that single matrix arrived at there is multiplied with e to give us a single matrix again and that single matrix is therefore lastly multiplied with, with u and that gives us um, another a single matrix for a single transformation represented by this order of matrices i hope that's clear about a uh, single matrix representing successive transformations uh, please like comment share you can always share with uh, your students um, and thank you for viewing look out for the next uh, lesson which will be which will be coming in two or three days after this one it will be about uh, inverse of matrix thank you